Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so let's find out together what's coming through for you. Energies for you, Strength card, the Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Cups. Energies for your person, the High Priestess, the Moon and the Nine of Pentacles. What can we expect for this connection? Nine of Swords, the Devil and the Two of Pentacles. The Oracle cards, Absence, Disagreements, Runner, Escape, Mend and Reveal which is a moment of truth, guys. The truth seems to be that uh, this person is basically ghosting you. Absence Oracle card. Runner. This person is a single nine of pentacles, meaning that they can embrace romantic connections kind of with a superficial touch because they may love the company of a lover, but, you know, no strings attached. Let's avoid to get serious. This person may have certain fears, if we want to be generous, the moon, or they may be an unpleasant individual, meaning that they can keep a lot of secrets from a potential lover. They can stay quiet on purpose, the A priestess, but it's like they are doing that with an agenda extremely clear in their mind, and I say so because of the devil, guys. Some of you may be extremely disappointed by the overall situation, Five of Cups. I will not try to sugarcoat the energy because this connection seems to be indeed a disappointing one. A lot of disagreements. Strength card. One of the best possible energies to handle the devil one. Matter of trust, matter of patience. Your patience is running out, Wheel of Fortune. Some of you can be smart enough to understand that this person means problems and troubles. They can be the tornado that we see in the strength card, the tornado that the lady is trying to keep at bay. Some of you can almost say to yourself, oh my goodness, I would be so better off without them in my life. But because of the devil, this person may have a hold on you guys because of the Two of Pentacles, which is a loop. And also the devil for me is a cycle. One about excesses. So if there was a sex between the two of you, maybe that was a catalyst for this connection to gain some momentum. But unfortunately, other factors were missing. That's why the Nine of Swords energy about anxiety. Some of you, maybe, have fallen for the energy for a while because of this person. It's like they found a way to creep in your mind, kind of living rent free in your head for a while. Now, thanks to the strength card, once again, you can overcome this challenging situation. I am not sure uh, about the fact, guys, that uh, this person can be a fair companion for you uh, if we think about the Nine of Pentacles. So let's go for another round. Let's see what we can get. Let's see if this person does something, if they reach out or if they stay quiet. Let's say High Priestess Moon, my goodness. Here we go. Judgment for the strength card. This can be a final decision in order for you to overcome these tests and so also let go of this connection. Word, look, let go. For the Wheel of Fortune, boy, powerful combination of energies, the end of a chapter. Four of Swords, for the Five of Cups, energy about healing, mend, but mending your heart, not mending the connection. And then you may Pay back this person with their own coin, you know? How is the saying in English? You can pay them back, yes, with the same coin. So silence for silence, basically. Page of Pentacles for the A Priestess. All right, it can be an apology. Somehow, some way, Ten of Swords for the Moon. They do not stand a chance. Three of Pentacles for the Nine of Pentacles. They love the interactions. 
uh, they appreciated the interaction with you, but um, they can be built in a way that may not be one in favor of, let's say, a serious relationship. Ooh, seven of swords for the nine of swords. The deal breaker, guys, can we say that? Yes, we can. Magician for the devil, not the best combination. And the Wheel of Fortune again for the Two of Pentacles. This cycle must end, guys. And the Judgment can be another powerful energy in order for you to put a closing point on a devilish situation. Page of Swords, bottom of the smaller deck. Looking around, trying to figure things out, gathering information. It can be about you. It can still be about this person because maybe, you know, through social media, they can keep tabs with you. They can look for information. Seven of Pentacles. This situation is dragging itself forward uh, for quite some time. Three of Wands. Expectations let down from your perspective. Then I would say this person may not be interested in a serious relationship. As a consequence, you may look for other opportunities. You should, guys. Queen of Swords, um, speaking your truth, I would say. So, guys, for some of you, there can be a conversation with this person that can allow you to let them know that they shouldn't bother you again moving forward. But, guys, for others, I have to say that the no contact, the silent uh, standoff between the two of you can prolong itself and you may very well decide to move on. So, moment of truth, moment of clarity, thanks to the judgment. Some of you do not trust the situation anymore. Strength card. Patience running out. The cycle is over. Wheel of Fortune word. Lesson learned about this situation. If it was or if it is, let's say, a soul-to-soul -soul connection, because the devil can be about that, there was a purpose. So some of you may had to learn, let's say, a lesson, kind of the hard way, but you did learn, and this is what matters the most. Five of Cups, missed opportunity, we can say that. You can go within, you can figure things out, you can realize that this person was not, is not for real, the connection can go cold. This person, let's say, if we follow the page of pentacles, was not really interested in doing things seriously with you. And that's why the connection basically faced a closing point. For others, the page of pentacles can be a token of apology that this person may decide to throw at you in order to see how you can react and this can be almost a triggering strategy because of the devil, magician, seven of swords, combination of energies. It's like they want to keep you stuck in this cycle. In any case, the nonsense of this person is going to find a closing point, ten of swords. So this person will not get what they want out of the connection with you. They will stay single, let's say, kind of involved in their own cycle about interactions with other people, but also not really in the position to build anything about the future, because this person can be almost a quitter escape oracle card when it comes to serious relationships. In the potential progression, guys, the energies can be also quite harsh, because anxiety due to a cycle that was all about stuckness and excesses and mind games and temptations, you know, because of the devil. Then, if we think about the ghosting mode of this person, anxiety about the fact that, oh my goodness, what did I do? Did I do something wrong? No, you didn't. It's merely that this person is built in this way and they love to play this game. So as soon as you got your clarity, you basically understood that the Seven of Swords was indeed an energy about lies, betrayals, deceits, manipulations. 
this person has tried to pull the strings of this connection. They have managed to do that for a while. Now, some of you are taking your power back. So kudos to you. And that's why the Wheel of Fortune can truly spin in your favor. So you can power through, let's say a rite of passage that can set you free from this challenging situation. As soon as you make your decision, you are not going to look back. So even if this person reaches out by saying, look, I am sorry, can we see each other? I don't think so can be your answer. Because thanks to the absence of this person, you have managed to achieve your clarity. And we can say truth and clarity are going to set you free. And this can be absolutely for the better moving forward, guys. So this is, let's say, a missed opportunity, but at the same time, a blessing in disguise. And there is an open road in front of you in order to find a better situation and hopefully a fair companion that can be willing and ready to cooperate with you in the most positive way right from the start. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you all the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.